everyone, and thanks for joining us. A longtime member of Congress who represented Crystal, Golden Valley, and Robbinsdale for nearly three decades has died. Martin Sabo represented Minnesota's 5th Congressional District, where he was re-elected a remarkable 13 times, serving from 1978 until his retirement in 2006. He passed away Sunday. Sabo was 78 years old. As Eric Nelson reports, Sabo leaves behind an enduring legacy. Truly, he was a legend uh, politically in the state of Minnesota. Martin Sabo was a giant in St. Paul and in Washington. I think his focus was like a laser on um, things you, you mentioned in conversation. He would repeat back to you in terms of, well, I know you needed this, and that always surprised me. I appreciate his life and his civility. Um, and his uh, leadership qualities that uh, went way beyond partisanship. Sabo was a career politician. He spent 28 years in D.C. as a Democratic congressman and another 18 years in St. Paul before that in the Minnesota legislature. He did represent the suburbs as part of his district. It was primarily Minneapolis, but he had all the western suburbs, the Crystal Robbins, the inner ring, and he always spent a great deal of time uh, worrying about uh, and serving th those folks too. Sabo's hallmark was getting things done and fostering change in areas such as tax reform and transportation. I think it's accurate to say the last time we had a balanced budget in Washington, D.C. was when Martin Sabo chaired the Budget Committee. Those who yeah, knew Sabo say he was kind and low-key. I think his legacy is really the, a quiet resolve. But behind his stoic demeanor, Sabo was also a politician who accomplished plenty without bigfooting his opponents. Donald Trump is anti-everything Martin Sable was. I mean, Martin uh, talked to the other side. Um, they might, they disagreed certainly on many occasions, but he would figure out a way to yes. He did a, a great job for Minnesota, and um, I think I would be uh, remiss if I didn't want to just simply say uh, thank you, Martin. Now, Representative Keith Ellison, who replaced Sabo in 2006, said that Sabo stood up for every Minnesotan, no matter their age, race, or economic standing. Ellison also called Sabo a man of substance who worked tirelessly to preserve Social Security, take care of our veterans, improve our public infrastructure, and pass budgets that were fair to working Americans. Alex and Mike. All right. Thanks, Eric.